Oh my god, it was there. Oh, no way, no way. No. Oh my god, it was level three wisdom. Oh my god, it was there. That's the proof. The proof has an OC. Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. Oh. oh my god. He's gonna win with the peak proof. Hello everyone. Today we have the one and only three-time rando champion with us. Four. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> You're forgetting the first rando league, Nintendo. It's four. Wait, is it really four? Doesn't matter. Anyway, hi. So I had another scene. Who would you give the advantage to here, side? Who do you think is gonna win? Colquell. His level 1 gameplay has clearly improved a lot over the past few weeks. He's done a lot of go mode seeds and stuff like that to prepare. He's very good with like low tool Zigbar. He did a low tool Roxas race against Logic actually. His low tool Zemnus fights have been really really good and stuff like that as well. Spears might edge it on the execution, but Colquill has done a lot of practice. Yeah, that's true. And uh, starting off right here. Okay, so the magnet start is very, very good. It's almost as if I'd expect Biz to go straight to Pride Lands here. Maybe he's looking for a couple other things as well that could help him out. We could see these runners utilize them in the first fight in Pride Lands. Maybe to add a little bit of safety when going for that second enemy. Being able to magnet him for a little bit of safety is always good. Report 5, the first report here says LOD has a 5. That's actually pretty high, I think, for LOD. Even though it's a 5, it's pretty good to push. If most of them are in drone room, then you can't get them all right off the bat. That's like a risk you take when you're really pushing a world like LOD. Is it going to be really deep or are you going to get it really early? Cole deciding to go to Disney Castle here. Not very good movement, like just quick run kind of sucks. Better than nothing. The same applies for basically every world that you start with. Disney Castle, Halloween Town, there's still sections of movement that you have to do. Disney Castle just has a crazy amount of checks per minute in this opening. Oh, and Thunder right there for Cole. Pride Lands didn't really seem to have much in the way of tools. The only thing we saw really is that report and quick run. Aside from that, I didn't really see anything useful in Pride Lands. Yeah, not much there at all. Cole making an interesting play here. Uh, he's doing Roxas now. There are four chests here that are fairly quick to grab, but I would yeah. imagine at this point he's definitely going to be taking on Roxas. I feel like it would be a bad play to come here and grab them when you already have quick run instead of just beating him. Cole here has definitely practiced his low tool final fights. He's done this fight with just quick run before in practice. If he gets a proof or two before Zigbar, then he has that knowledge advantage because the world never was has to be done anyway. Biz actually pushed to TR, which is something that Cole did not do. I thought Cole Kill would have done Timeless River. It's something is probably going to be on his mind. Cole knows that he does Timeless and I'm pretty sure he'll cover it later, but for now he's definitely prepping for a go mode seed. Okay, so yeah, Biz just be a Pete. Cole will go up to Zigbar and then his next destination, I would guess, Agrippa. Well, he hasn't checked PR or OD. I guess he checked those. But I'm sure he'll go back to shotgunning every other world. Neither of them have gone to Halloween Town yet, so it wouldn't surprise me if both of them went to Halloween Town as their next big world. Cole gets a report there. Report 7 Ooh, in the world that never was. That might be huge for him too. Uh, SPS 3, okay. That is kind of scary, actually. SP2 is so tough on level 1. This is something that a lot of people don't do early. It's interesting to see that he did that when it's definitely hinted as a three, and he's already found one of the three important jets. Yeah, it's on page, so he can go ahead and check out 100 Acre. We've seen audio runners usually don't check 100 Acre until they have a page. He can get the first six checks whenever he wants, and I would imagine that Colt will enter SP for those six first checks as well. Colt getting an interesting report here in Halloween Town. Report nine. Uh, Pride Lance has won, but that makes yeah. the LOD a hint, a hint of hint. That does that make LOD a hint of hint. He could be not dipping in LOD because it's a 5, so he's fully expecting to push it anyway. Cole going into 100 Acre, he's gonna get Peter Pan here. It makes Sykes free, and right now, considering they don't have drives or any of the other summons, Peter Pan can be used, for example, Thresholder. You can get, like, one revive during the fight. That's something that they might use on level 1. Biz is gonna do the world that never was pretty early here, just to make sure that there's no early proofs, you know, get that info that could be oh so important. And I would imagine that Biz can do this deathless. This could be the first big difference, I think, between the two runners here. We do see Colquill biting the bullet and going towards Agrabah with only one Whoa, quick run. that was weird too. The bandit didn't kill him. Yeah, now he just got Explosion and Blizzard. Mm. And the Explosion is huge. It's a pretty free Explosion, so he knows that they're both get it. Cole right here going into the Cave of Wonders. He has an area dodge, so I don't know if he can maybe st not spawn the Sorcerer's Fortune Tuggers here. Yeah, he's well, he got the first one. That was that was pretty cool. That was good. He might be in danger for the rest of the cave here, especially. Oh, he has auto limit that he's put on, so he Ooh. could use that uh, to to try and get himself out of situation here. We'll we'll have to see. Does find the fire as well, which is really nice, and he could even get limit form experience here. Actually, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking he could save the limit form for the for the the fight, the next fight as well. He could probably level up. 
and that's exactly what I think he's going to do here. Yeah, he got level two. More times. Curious if he's going to push even further in LOD here, or if he's just going to dip. Because uh, he could push a little, maybe like get the checks on the missions. He's going to, I think. Wow. Yeah, he is. Well, I guess it works fine in level one. Your strength and your magic aren't going to get much better. Going here later won't save you too much time. Um, so. Well, it depends. You could go faster with the Magnera and stuff, but he had mm. an explosion. And he gets a report. Um, mm. Which hints forms have a three. Yeah, which is very exciting at the moment <laughs> because there are no dry forms on the table. They've done basically the same things and there's been no dry form. So that's really, really interesting. We've yet to see Hollow Bastion and Fire Town 1 and 2, which have a huge bulk of checks that could have a couple dry forms. But yeah, until now, there's no drives. So that hint could be really, really interesting later on. Oh, so a hint here in OOD. Report 3 says Olympus has four. That's huge. A third of the important checks already taken up right now. A 4 OC has a decent shot of having one of those proofs. Right now, I'm wondering, does he go check out Hollow Bastion, Beast Castle, T or does he just push Olympus? I think shotgunning OC is a really good play here. He's going to be smart here and make sure that he covers his bases and does Hollow Bastion. Biz going through his castle here and he got an Aerio Dodge, which is nice. It's always good to have a lot of those to make Shan Yu skip and of course skip easy. Biz actually is going to do Thresholder. Paul making an interesting decision here. He's going to and Olympus? He is or, actually going yeah. to Olympus. I think OC could have some very, very interesting and good things here. I don't think it's going to go much faster if he comes here later. Apart from the glide thing, must be said. It is pretty likely that there'll be a proof in OC. He he doesn't have the stuff in Beast Castle here, and he doesn't have Hollow Bastion 2 open, so Biz might have advantage in getting those chests first. I mean, this is kind of risky, I feel. Like, a little bit risky. And unfortunately for Biz, Beast Castle has been pretty barren. Only one point I mean, torn page here. That extra quick run is really good. I right. know it's only one difference in quick run level, but that quick run level 2 over quick run level 1 is going to save him a decent amount of time. Cole going through Haze Escape here. I assume he won't have any difficulty with the Magnera, Combo Master, Magna Burst. You can play it really, really safe. Oh, man, takes a death right there. Yeah. You can't fault him too much. Hades throwing a fireball at the exact moment like your combo ends to where you can't get out of the way is very unlucky. In like the speedrun yeah. strat and everything, we know that Hades can snipe you. That's mm -hmm. the risk of taking that fight scary. He could have played it safe and that might have been a better call. But I respect that he's trying to save as much time as he can on every fight. Cole making it through here. Probably try to play it safer. Large body shows up. We've seen a lot of the game now and we haven't seen a single reflect. So it's kind of getting scary at this point. You don't want to see a reflectless final fights. Report uh -huh. 12 on business and on Hollow Bastion. It says, 100 acre has two they already have one of them so it's not really high priority at all biz going to core and he fell down but he made it back up without dying thankfully that's a bit scary for a minute and at this point biz has covered pretty much everything aside from tt and i'm guessing he'll try to choose lod right yeah makes a lot of sense in his situation the idea is to push lod find out if you can get final form here he's going to be sent down the rabbit hole into oc i'm pretty sure as well i would imagine he does the same thing just a little bit behind cole after cole is done with the oc he might go back and check out beast castle and then hp2 and all that they might be about even and cole did have those deaths so that might give biz a chance to get ahead yeah those deaths were pretty bad cole getting the first important check which is a torn page and report 11 here report Ooh. 11 says that disney castle was done okay we're not going to see that are peep proof. It's nice to know that they don't have to clear the rest of Timeless River. I feel like the seed is, they have no forms. They only have one summon, no proofs. I feel like it's kind of dry it's, early on here. It's really dry. I think magic is the biggest thing that they have right now. Oh, he's actually going for Twilight, Twilight Town. Town. Okay. Before HP2, it's really interesting. No forms yet or anything like that. He's thinking Twilight Town has a lot of checks, so it's a world that you've got to go to 54 minutes in, right? He's going to grab these chests first before doing the fight. He doesn't want to come back afterwards with a skateboard, and that's presumably because he has a chance to get the final form here. Okay, he's going for it. All right, I'll see. This is playing it safe in Hades Escape, which is something that Cole didn't do, as we can see on the second platform, using that Bushido just yeah. to kill one shadow, just to make sure he didn't take a hit. Biz definitely playing it safe, but if he saves time over Cole Cole by going deathless, then it's definitely definitely going to benefit him. It's been a really, really clean run from Biz so far. It, it and has, I yeah. think that can be said about all of his runs in this tournament, and that's why he's in the Grand Finals. Another thing is that I'm really surprised GT had nothing. Like, the first visit had nothing. That's crazy. The seed continues to be a little bit on the dry side. I mean, right now, they've just got to find those dry forms, which I think is one of the biggest things about them pushing LOD and OC instead of unhinted worlds, is that the promise of possibly finding a dry form or a proof has been quite huge. Unfortunately, they haven't found any of them yet. He does go to Twilight Town to get those opening checks. Hole in a bit of a dangerous situation. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We might be okay here. Okay. Okay. I just didn't use his drive. 
Yeah. No, no, no. He, he managed to maintain his drive. So I took a peek at Ko's in-game time, and he's lost four minutes to death so far. It is kind of bad. You'd expect to see that by the end of the run, if he has a clean rest of the run, but Biz could easily not have any deaths. Ko doing HP2 here. I wonder if we do corridors now. Oh, he has the membership yeah, card? Yeah, he has the membership card. Biz didn't have this when no. he came to uh, Hollow Bastion. I believe it was an OC. Um, yeah. So he does have it now, but... Okay. Right. And it was just a map. <laughs> yep. Uh, I tried to make my okay, like an inquisitive maybe <laughs> one, because I realized that I was ahead. So I changed it halfway through, but yeah, that's that's a ruined map, unfortunately. Which uh, ruins the membership card. Wait, he's leaving then. He's not doing corridors. That's weird. Oh, he's doing STT. Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god, this is the play. I love this. This is amazing. I'm so happy about this play. And you know what? This one I wouldn't have uh, told you about up until now. Because I know, I know that. Oh, dude, this is amazing. <laughs> SCT and Port Royal. They don't have Glide. They don't have a form. They don't have a proof yet. At this point, you're sitting there and going, wow, there has to be something in SCT. And I believe you're also going, there has to be something in PR. Yeah, I right? feel like either of them can easily have something. But for me, uh, SCT is, is easier. Like, there's less chance of dying, which I think Cole's done a few times so far. He only has base Blizzard, doesn't have Stitch or Chicken Little. So maybe there's some comfort things that just aren't there for him yet. So both players are thinking right now we, we have to push an unhinted thing. Uh, and doing further Twilight Town without final form is a bad idea. Oh yeah, well Cole do Axel too. <laughs> he won't do it, right? <laughs> unhinted? I don't think he does. Yeah. But I mean, the chance of an... Oh, Biz. Interesting. He really wants final form maybe between before clearing tt2 and three so he's just getting those early checks in port royal yeah. before or leaving and i agree with that i like doing that i think it's good to shotgun those around this point okay space paranoid there are two important checks here right yeah. and they could just as easily be after this first fight one of the reasons for this could be he wants to clear these checks and make sure there's not two or three proofs somehow in port royal unhinted or the early bits in space paranoids because going to sdt after that would be a mistake unhinted oh yeah i think he's just making sure that there isn't like an easy proof or two here or an easy hint missing these little places that you could go check to make sure there's not an stt hint or something like that Ooh, Ooh, Biz taking oh, his that's first, his first death. Death, yeah. <laughs> to movement I mean, too. It's not costing a lot. No. I'm not gonna lie. He can actually skip both the chests because they weren't great. So mm -hmm. it, it's not, it's not a big death. It's still something. Maybe Biz is showing weakness, showing that he's not. <laughs> it's funny because yeah. even in his semifinals race, that was his other death was to movement in DC. Glide. Glide. Wow. He did it. Biz got the first glide of the seed. Space paranoid. He wasn't looking for it at that point. He was looking for those important checks, maybe a final form, but. He ends up getting Glide. I don't know what that does to him in terms of what he does next. Is he, is he actually going to check the core chest? Oh. This is really interesting. Just for that one check. If this is useless, then I think this is quite a big time sink just yeah. to get that one chest. This is actually a big time loss if there's nothing here, I think, right? It is. And I wonder if he's going to at least do dancers, though. Like, if he's already here. I think if he does that, then it won't be that big of a deal. I think doubling up on the dancers fight would probably be a good idea. He can Glide on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just well, did system. But he is doing one. dancers. Honestly, he might do 1k now. But if he doesn't do this, his only other option is SCT. I guess TT2 and 3. That might be where he goes. This entire visit to Hollow Bastion, not very productive. Yeah, it was useless. So he's just going to do Unhinted Port Royal now. This is the biggest difference that we're going to see between these two runners is Unhinted Port Royal versus Unhinted STT. And I think both are good options in their own right. They both have different possibilities. I like that Biz cleared the start of it. Maybe that's something that, that Cole could have done because there's a good couple checks in the yeah. town. Whatever's in these two worlds is gonna really decide what happens i think for the rest of this race oh okay Ooh, stitch cole getting stitch and he's gonna have that for unhinted port royal if he goes there later or maybe if he finds a hint for it cole has the opportunity to save so much time over biz on yeah both in fight. port royal yeah if biz does this without stitch he might never have to go to stt so that yeah. is something they have half the hints but it feels like they don't have much intel i'm wondering when biz will push the rest of tt he should do it eventually i mean berserkers isn't that long and you get all the checks in sunset Terrace at least. Cole finding glide. A, uh, glide there. Yeah. That's pretty huge. They both found a glide in respective places that they pushed. Now Cole, when he goes to the Cavern of Remembrance, he can grab that chest alongside all of the others. He got some Keyblades which could have light and dark. I know he has two at least. Here. Limit form. Oh my god. Oh my I'm sorry god. If I spoiled it. <laughs> oh Limit my form. God, dude. Limit yep. form in STT. And there's things stayed, on drive. If this stayed unhinted, that would be crazy. He is doing the fight. He's doing Axo too. Yeah. I mean, he can get an extra limit level in this fight. So, oh, biz. Final form. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Okay, final form is huge. 
He didn't do TT2 or TT3 yet. Yeah, he has a bit uh, of level. Going. I say he goes to TT2 and 3 straight after this. Both of them getting their first drive form an yeah. hour and 28 minutes in, <laughs> and it's a different one. Dude, there's something after Axel 2, it'd be actually insane. I don't know what Biz does that in Hunted. Oh, it's a report! It's a report? Hang on. Report 2, which says that Agrabah has one more. It's not a good report. No, it's not. But it's a report nonetheless. Cole could death cycle on Zigbar or something, or he could spend a lot of time leveling final somewhere, and Biz already has that, so I feel like we don't know quite yet if he's in the lead or not. No, if it was a really, really good hint, then it would be easily in Cole's favor, but right now it's still kind of up in the air if that was good for him. And that hint being bad tells him there's got to be a stacked world somewhere. The end of Twilight Town could be absolutely stacked, which is clearing now. Late Hollow Bastion could be stacked as well. And the so. first important check in Twilight Town's a blizzard. It is good for Port Royal. It is, that, yeah. Again, going to give him a slight advantage over Biz. He's checking out the rest here, he'll get that blizzard, and then I assume he's gonna do the match fight right here. They just have no nothing else to do at this point. Like, pushing it on him to SCT without limit form is something that Biz is not gonna do, I don't think. Not he for might a while, not. Anyway. Like, maybe at this point he could think about it. And, uh, the proof. <laughs> A proof yep. in TT. Yep, there's our first one. It's in the match and Biz is about to get it. All right, and, and we're seeing this, which is is pretty expected, I'd say. He's going to go through Port Royal. He's going to find Final Form, and then he's going to have Final Form and Limit Form. He's saving. So Cole, oh, he's going to SCT. Yeah, I think he's going to SCT. Surely. Yeah, cool. he's going oh. to SCT. <laughs> oh, Biz is going to go to SCT. Cole just went up to the timed fight in Port Royal, and it's now clear in Space Paranoids up to Hostile Program, which Biz also did. I have to imagine if Cole remembers, he's going to go to Hollow Bastion 2. He's going to do Core Skip and Dancers. We could be looking at a very, very tight and crazy race after this. This is pretty crazy. Right now, I would say it's pretty close, and especially because Biz went to SCT, I don't think anyone's really in the lead. If there's a proof in SP, I guess Cole has the advantage in having that, but Biz also has final form and leveled final. There's also the scary thought of Cole forcing a final form. True. And we're gonna see right here in a minute what's on hostile program. Hopefully Cole doesn't have a death, because this is a little scary now. It's a bit shaky over here. Um, he's gonna get enough orbs hopefully to freeze him soon and should be able to deal with the fight that way. Yeah, as long as he has enough here. He oh, he took a hit. Oh, I don't know about that. He went to the middle. Oh my god. That was so risky. Yeah, so he, he got there in the end, but it was risky. We're gonna find out what he gets here. He got Master Form. That is a big advantage in my eyes. Cole, having not done the first room of Core yet, he can hit Master Level 4 and get three checks on drives that Biz does not have. Master Form has a Keyblade. He hasn't checked them in a while. He's going to head into Core Skip now. Oh, Dodge Roll. The next check didn't show. Because if you get Yo, two it levels at once, it doesn't show. It wasn't a proof. It wasn't anything important. Or it would have shown up on the Auto Tracker. The only thing it could have been is an ability. Oh, Cole. Oh, no. He spawns the enemies. Or oh, not. Okay. No, but just that's that's a silly time look. Yeah, uh, that's um... you should be doing. But and now uh, Cole's about to go get level five in the orb. Like he he was he can't telling, get five, but yeah. Uh, which I thought, oh no no, he just doesn't have the form for it. Mm -hmm. But the maybe he forgot. Oh, we got a recovery. <laughs> Are recovery. you kidding me? It's just perfect. That's awesome. See so the rest of core here. I'm really curious. It's a map. Okay, right just pick up a finish chest for me. Okay, so we're basically level. I'll, I'll wait a couple seconds. Nothing there. Oh, Chicken Little. Chicken oh, little. man. And that's... It. He's going to go to Port Royal, I think. Yeah. Yes. Cleaning the rest of Port Royal becomes a lot easier for him now. So what's funny is that uh, Biz is actually trying to beat Setzer, like, normally, instead of death using, like Cole did. Reflect! Our first Reflect in core. That's big. That is big. I think I think that's very big. Cole now definitely a lot more comfortable with the Wobbling of Ors and fights after that. Pages. Spooky Cave becomes available when there's one important check there. <laughs> the layout of the seed so far is funnily enough not even looking that bad. Auto Valor from that chest could actually be important too. It could. Biz over here doing PR2, which honestly, like yeah. this is a pretty good spot to check now. It's one of the best places on Hinted that's left. Cole might struggle in the end of Treasure Fight here to, to survive. Ooh. Oh, he had drive form during it, but... Limit? Yeah, death. Yeah. Taking a death there. Sonic and Blade seems kind of safe, but it's not. Because at the end of each RC, you can get caught and die. And he's mm. leaving after. From not wanting to death cycle on Treasure Room, he is now entering Oh my space god. <laughs> which is a lot scarier. Oh, he's forcing final. Oh. 
okay. If there's if anything it's... important in Port Royal 2, then this might be really bad for Cole. And if there's nothing important, this is really bad for Biz. <gasps> the proof of peace? I mean, yep. Tranquil, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yep. That's insane. Oh my god. And the report. Oh my god, Nintendo. And Vatter form? Oh no. The report hints S uh, TT, which has another check on an Axel fight. Oh, he's, he's going to get a Twilight Town check. Okay, I can appreciate that. That's so huge for Biz. Biz is in the lead for sure now, I think. Wait the a minute. The final form Keyblade has Berserk Charge. Wait. It was on the final form Keyblade. No, Vatter form has Night and Dark. Wait, it does? It does. Oh my god, what a seed. Vatter Blade form. <laughs> and yeah. final form were in unhinted late Port Royal 1 and 2. He's leveling to do Zigbar now. I'm trying to think at this point, like, what ways can Cole come out ahead? Because Biz has a huge lead. Even if the proof isn't here, Cole has so much ground to make. It's gonna be rough. Please, reflect! Oh, reflect oh, the TT. Oh. There's Cole's advantage of the reflect for the world that never was gone. I would assume Biz clears this faster than Cole now. He's gone the DM phase now, and now when you're past DM phase, he has the Comet for safety. This should be a free fight for Cole now. All he's gotta do is a double finisher out of this room, and then Zigbar will infinitely reload, and that will pretty much be the fight. He just has to not die, mm -hmm. and yep, he gets it right here. So yeah, the fight and, is pretty much free now. And Cole's practice, again, really paying off here. Knowing the Saxon loop, it's something that you definitely have to know if you're against someone as good as Beers. That was definitely a really, really good fight. Really clean mm -hmm. from Cole, and he gets a report, 13, which says that PR's a 4. Oh, oh, four! So he'll go there. He gets Trinity Lunt as well, so late Hollow Bastion is on the table for both runners now. The proof obviously can't be here, or else it's, it's Biz's game. So he's got to hope it's somewhere like maybe Agrabah or something, and then maybe Cole has a shot of getting that first. And also on Cole's screen, he didn't get any report or proof, so this could be Cole's win if Biz wastes time between while he goes to Port Royal. We don't know where that third proof is right now. It could be anywhere. They both have 34 out of 48 important checks, the exact same number. We know a couple more of them that they don't. So for example, Biz doesn't know that a master form is in space power. Paranoids. Cole is missing all the things in Port Royal, stuff like that. Biz, I would imagine, goes to Space Paranoids if there's no hint in the world that never was here. I think he at least does hostile program, uh, finds that master form, and then starts leveling with drives, possibly. The only thing there was the hint for Port Royal, which doesn't help Biz in the slightest, and it helps Cole so much. Like, he's going right there, he's going to get final form and be sad about it. Yeah, Valor form he's going to get as well, with uh, Light and Darkness Keyblade. This <laughs> is jumping so high. <laughs> 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 they might honestly just do the exact same things. We might be sitting here two and a half hours in and Biz and Cole have cleared the exact same things as each other. At this point with three hints left, hinted hints I feel like have a little bit more merit. Like mm -hmm. Agrabah's not a hinted hint yet. The pages, in order for it to be 100 acre, HB and BC have to be hinted. Yeah. So that's pretty unlikely. Where does Biz go here then? OC. OC? OC, Nintendo. Wait, what? Oh, Pete, yeah. If he had Master, I would get it because he could level on Hydra, but he doesn't, so I don't know. He doesn't. No. <sighs> I don't know about the Hydra play, though. This is... Wow. That was not good. <laughs> yeah. The past, like, 10 minutes for Biz have, have not been good at all. Oh, my God. Horizontal Slash! <laughs> Which does legitimately nothing no, does at nothing. this point. He's and he's back going in. back in. But this is the point where Cole is about to catch up big time. At this point, they're pretty much even now. The last oh, Cole the Death on Axel. Yeah. The instant yeah, explosion. Oh my god. It's basically nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing. saying don't push Halloween Town, but you weren't going to do that unhinted anyway, so it's nothing. There's no way that Cole pushes unhinted Halloween Town. Before At least OC, he doesn't do so. Hades though, because that would have been worse. He is going to go to Hollow Bastion. Wait. If he pushes Demix into Hollow Bastion 3 instead of Core Scheme, he's going to do it. And oh, we've man. already seen three things in Core. If we look at Cole's screen here, there are only nine more hinted checks for Cole right now. There are two on drives. There's one in OC. There's one in LED. That's four. One in 100 Acre Wood. One in Agrabah. That's six. One in SP. That's seven. There are only two important checks unaccounted for on Cole's tracker right now. If those two happen to be in an unhinted hollow bastion and one of them is the proof, I will leap my hat. Wait, 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 wait. There's only two hints unaccounted for. The limit hasn't been hinted. We don't know where wisdom is, but the other forms have been hinted, right? Oh, I didn't even think about rap. Right, right, right. So there's two. Yeah, and um, we still have an unhinted page, I believe. Beast I... Castle. Yeah, Beast Castle. So Beast Castle is no, hinted. No, and yeah. HB, and HB. Right, right, right. So there's two unhinted pages. So that means that. Uh, there's one... Yeah. There's no torn page. Oh, there are in core, of course. Yeah. So a uh, 100 acre wood looks unlikely. I guess. Very unlikely. From the yeah. outside perspective, looking at uh, Cole's side. Wow, this is really interesting. Well, Cole has the right idea in my mind. I just don't think that pushing Hollow Bastion is a good thing to do right now either. It's I think SP is probably the best. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, 
What are the hints at hints? Let me see. If wisdom form, for example, is in space paranoids, then I think Cole Wait. hard hit drives. Wait, the hint for SP was in what it never was. It was. Oh, oh, but the hint to PR was in what it never was, and it has to be hinted. So we know what it never was is hinted. Oh no. Which okay. means that SP has a really high likelihood of having it, I think. There is only one hint unaccounted for. Yeah, that means- It can't be on pages. It cannot it be, be on pages. Yeah, Paul Bastion and Beast Castle. Thing is, like, Biz will not know that, right? No. Because that report that he's missing is after the Axel fight. And he is not doing that until he gets an SDT hint. I think that's so that probably could... why he chose SP, honestly. I think that might be it. MCP would be so rough. I don't know if either of them... I mean, I know Biz, actually. I think he can do it. I don't know if Cole can. Paul Bastion, we're about to find out if it has anything here. Oof, 1k. Oof. I feel like maybe Biz's mindset is like, SP2 is really hard and I don't think Cole would do it yet. We're about to see SP2. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, MCP. If you rolled an MCP, MCP. seat for the level one tournament final, <laughs> MCP is gonna be pretty unhappy with you. Namely, Cole. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. And he's, it's and he's doing it. Say, if either runner finds the proof at any point now, then they win. Yeah. So we are really looking at uh, things that the other runner hasn't done yet, which both of them are currently doing. No, nothing there. Nothing there. So he has he oh, has gold wing. He has the heartless manufacturing and the proof of beast checks. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go check all yeah. four of them. And then what do you do if you're biz? Uh, it's gotta, gotta be SP2. SP2 right? Yeah. It's gotta be SP2, but then Cole has already gone there, already got master form, already has forms leveled up to a decent degree. So unless Biz immediately Oh, no, oh reflect. reflect. He is gonna level forms though by looks oh. of maybe. If I'm gonna be honest, my prediction is there's a proof on MCP. Because of the way the hints are, like this is really, really likely to have it. I think wisdom form being on MCP and a proof on drives. I think you're right. I think we find a proof or wisdom form here personally. He's doing also wisdom. With oh, this could be huge. This could be I don't huge. think we've seen many wisdom levels right now. As a report. <gasps> Report 10. Wait, he has one more. It drives. Forms are, wait, drives. Forms are, oh my god. It's drives or Agraba. It's drives. It's drives or Agraba, I it, think. Oh my god. Like, it could definitely be Agraba. Now it's a hinted hint, right? And that's yeah, the last I, hint. It's gotta hint be drives. Hint. It has to be drives. Yeah. Do you think? I really think. There's only one more thing on drives. There's one more thing on Agraba. I think it's the same. No, but every form right? is hinted. Where are the odds of that if it's not drives? Biz, of course, is now going to go here and get the Agrabah hint. So now we have decision making here where Biz could go to the end of Agrabah. Cole could go to the end of Agrabah. This is a crazy finals matchup. This is crazy. <laughs> I, I want to see, see a proof. The, uh, well, no, we have the last hint, right? Yeah. No, we ha we're yeah. missing one, right? We know, we hints. We know it's going to be the one that never was. Oh, yeah, you're right. <gasps> it was on MCP. <laughs> it was on MCP. It was on MCP. Cole's done it. Cole. Is your level one round oh champion? God. Oh my god, it was MCP! <laughs> and Biz, Biz could have done this so early. There he were two have. important checks remaining. You feel like this would have been a good play. Maybe Biz underestimated him slightly, didn't think he'd push such a difficult I do, I do think that's what happens. Here we go! It's an MCP proof in the grand finals. And Cole, coming back after a pretty bad start for the first hour and a half, I'd say. Yeah. Biz up two proofs, uh, way less deaths and things like that. Cole with a very, very strong second half, and he's gonna win, and I'm so happy for him. I really thought it was going on forums when I saw that. So I'm just gonna spoil it now. I named the seed Cole Quill vs. Biscuit 047. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's that the name of the seed. Yeah, that's the name of the seed. Wow. I can't believe that I had like MCP. <laughs> Thank God that Port Royal hint was was there in the world that never was in a place that Cole had to go to, or he could have been unfortunate this race. But honestly, the the SP2 play, the MCP play was was crazy. Jafar has the last Agrippa check. Oh man, I wonder how Cole's feeling at this point. How to be feeling good an MCP proof? But they had that early on, right? Mm -hmm. The SP hint. Right, it was super early. Biz always seemed one step ahead in yeah. SP. Uh, Biz is stopping for a second. Is he just? Yeah, I think he. I think he's forfeiting. He's forfeiting. Yeah, uh, Kiwi said that she wanted to tell him because he he needs sleep. All right, so okay, fair enough. What a tournament, Nintendo. Yeah, uh, what a tournament. I'm really, really happy the way this turned out. I was honestly really nervous going into it because leading up to it, a lot of people expressed how uh, difficult level one is and people were struggling on fights like Zigbar and stuff. 
So I was worried mm -hmm. that it might be like people might just be death cycling the whole tourney and stuff and people might just not yeah. have fun with it either. And I rolled like the worst qualifier seed too, but I feel like I'm really happy with how our tournament matches went out. I think that it was really, really stacked in, in top 16 and we had mm -hmm. a lot of really fun matchups. I had the idea of a level one tourney for a long time because I just like level one in, in Rando and I know Biz does too. Yeah, so level one is not for everyone, but it is really rewarding because you can learn the fights and it's not unfair or anything. It's, it's a fun category, I think. I think the right two people made finals as well. Like both of these players played incredibly well the entire tournament and, and deserve this for sure. And he doesn't get dome, thank god. <laughs> oh my god, I almost just choked the dome. Jeez, jeez. Oh my god, where is he? GG's. GG's Cole, congratulations. You deserve it. He definitely deserves it. He's, he's, uh, yeah, like, like you said, he, he's been long overdue for a tournament win. Yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the, the tournament. I know I had a lot of fun organizing it, and I'm, I really, really am happy with the turnout. Uh, the fact that so many people tried to qualify and, uh, people put so much work into level one for it. It's pretty cool. But congrats again to Cole. Yeah, congrats again to Cole. That was, a, that was a really cool race too. It was crazy because Biz was ahead for so long. Alright, see you guys later. Thank you again for being here.